Evgenia, this is so boring event. This is none of our business as long as the clients enjoy it. Go fetch some champagne for the guests, or everyone will die of bored heart. Who's that? This is Deputy Gorski. And I think that's Vadim Safronov with him. Go fetch some champagne for the guests, or everyone will die of boredom here. You bastard! It's been a long time since a beautiful woman spilled champagne all over me. Drowning you wouldn't be enough. To drown? Madame Dolinska, what was that? No comments. It's okay. Natalie, you saved me as always. Watch and learn, baby, while you still can. Everyone almost fell asleep until you came. And then bam, and it's all over the internet. The client will be happy. So who is the genius pair girl here? Well... Hey, did you spill champagne on someone famous? This Vadim Safronov. Who is he? Zhenya, you serious? Who's he? Bastard, who left me without a coat desert house. My sugar daddy had a heart attack, remember? Well, I thought that was it. I picked myself a suit, Sicilian widow style. Lace, corsets. Natalie, get to the point. Well, this Vadim Safronov saved my sugar daddy. He personally operated on him. He is like a genius cardiac surgeon. He also opened his clinic and called it Safronia in his honor. Now that is some peacock. Natalia, I don't get why you're upset. The Cote d'Azur house is still yours, your sugar daddy is your husband. For now. He's got a second wind after the surgery. And a little birdie told me that he's looking for a younger wife. This is what you get for giving away your best years. So in the situation with Safronov, I mixed business with pleasure. I would never have thought that this playboy was a doctor. <laughs> Men without heart. Emilia, darling, if you want to leave, I will totally understand. Vadim has sent some message again that he is busy once again, that he has some kind of meeting. You look wonderful, darling, and beautiful as always. Good evening. You've gained weight. Looks good on you. Let me introduce you, Emilia Kolubova, daughter of our new conductor. So nice to meet you. Likewise, I'll get something to eat. Get a caviar canapé. I hope champagne is good here. I hope so, too. This girl is a real fairy. Well-mannered. Fifth generation aristocrat. I will soon be able to call her my daughter. Good choice. I don't think Vadim will resist for too long. <laughs> and how is your Stasik doing? Still runs around with the ball? He does. He earns millions. We don't interfere with our son's choice. Neither personal nor professional. Champagne? Who serves champagne on the left, young man? You're at the opera, not an inn. Let me have some. Thank you. Here you go. Well, too nice evening. Oh, I hope so. Good evening, Sofia Polonska. Yes, I am a big fan of yours. Can I have a picture with you? All right. Goodness, her pomposeness is so exhausting. Does she care what size she offered champagne from? But the girl is nice. Our Stanislav needs one like her. But he fools around with that Zhenya. Well, if that bothers you so much, 
Do something about it. I'm doing. Here. Yes, boss. How many are boss? And the branch mansions? Awesome. Yeah, Natalie is my doing. No complaints for Safronov? Perfect. Waiting for the bonus for your favorite employee. I'm on vacation as of today, by the way. Tough day ahead, Vadim Nikolaevich. It always is. Thanks. This is too much. Well, you opened up earlier. You're so bohemian in the morning. It's genetics, my love. Zhenya. A beautiful girl like you must wake up only with me. I hope you won't reject the football's rising star, the honor. What? You don't like it? I do. Very much. It's the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Yes. Yes, I will marry you. And? Okay, we need to take a selfie. Shooting. Are they out of their minds? It's 7 a.m. It's probably neighbors. I'll take care of it. Kid, are you sick? Do you need help? No. Are you Zhenya? I'm Lyova. We need to talk. Kid, now it's not a good time. You don't recognize me. You haven't felt anything. Is this some kind of prank? No, I don't recognize you and I haven't felt anything. I don't know any kids. I'm your son. Zhenya, who is it? 
Now tell those who sent you that they are too late. Stanislav has already proposed to me. Now go. Who was it? The kid next door forgot his backpack. Now he is asking me to give him a lift. Wait for me downstairs, Lenya. Call him a cab. We need to go to my parents. Today? Of course. You said yes. We need to tell them. Okay, I'll drive him and be right back. All right. I'm going to my training. Gained a few pounds during the camp. Go take a shower. I'll prepare everything. Okay. Wait for me outside. Lenochka boss will be here any minute, and you are doing a makeup. You said the boss likes beautiful woman. As a woman, I understand you, of course. But as a colleague, I must warn you, he is not the kind of man interested in nurses. Well, who is he into? Good morning, Vadim Nikolaevich. Good morning. Good morning, Svetlana Ivanovna, Lenochka. So, uh, I need medical records of everyone who has an appointment today on my table. Lenochka, drop by my office and get me some coffee. Here, drink this. Heat up yourself this syrenike in 20 minutes. They're in the fridge. And this is what you wear after the gym. Take a banana and the protein shake to the gym with you. They are on the fridge on the second shelf. Oh, and don't forget to drink your medicine for your heart muscle. You're so sexy when you're being no-nonsense. Let the kid walk. You can do that if you intend to do cardio. It's too much float. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. okay. Here you go. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? You can. Button up. And remove that bright lipstick. Lena, I hope I won't have to remind you of subordination and inappropriacy of flirting at work. Vadim Nikolaevich, that's not what I meant. I would like to order the bouquet. I need something stylish and laconic. I'll come by in an hour. Thanks. Was it Stanislav Khodkevich, the goal scorer? Is he your fiancé? Did he give that to you? Get in. I bought it myself. I work a lot, you know. Baklav. I only rode in a taxi with my mom before, and it was only a couple times. Ah, so you have another mom. And that's who I'm gonna talk to. Please don't! She doesn't know I came here. She will. It's either your mom or the police. Your choice, prankster. Why the police? I'll tell them you blackmailed me and they'll arrest you. So, is it mom? Don't start crying. I was kidding about the police. We'll go to your mom, and I'll talk to her. Tell me the address. Salutna Street. Building? You don't have any more kids. I don't have any kids. Mom, hi. Me and Jenka will come for dinner today. We need to talk. Not on the phone. I don't care. Cook what you want, Mom. I'm not hungry. I had breakfast. Okay, bye. 
Hey, hey. You are so beautiful. Stop it. Tell me. Is your husband pampering you, right? When did we last see each other? Six months ago? Something like that, yes. Well, sure. So happy that you've forgotten about your friend. Actually, I got divorced two months ago and moved back to my father. Now I'm coming to my senses. Started seeing people at least. That's something. And recently I was given Sofia Safronova as a mother-in-law. Do you know her? Sofia, Sofia, former opera prima. Her son is a cardiac surgeon. That's it. Vadim Safronov. That's right. It was him who brought my grandpa back to life. My grams had two heart attacks, you know? That Vadim is all right. He's cute. Yeah? I haven't seen him yet, to be honest. Talking about men. Are you still into your footballer? That nuts. And you haven't done anything to get closer to him? Well, we had a thing once. I thought it was gonna go from there, but then that... Jenny came. Now I don't know what to do. Here's my advice to you. Make friends with his mom. Moms know best what their boys need. And stop wearing that shirt. A. It's not your color. And B. Stars never fall for their fans. There you have it, Kolya. It's only morning and I don't have my voice. I asked you. I asked you so many times. Turn off that AC in the bedroom for the night. My godness, you're eating this bacon again. It's pure cholesterol. White bread, put it down. Doctor orders, Kolya. Where are you going? I haven't finished yet. Kolya. Nikola. Take me to the shopping mall. Kolya. So, is this how you'll go? In a robe? And diamonds? No, I'll take all the rope. I'll keep the diamonds. That's only one good thing left from my old life. Actually... That's my mom's diamonds. Then it's the only good thing left from her. Kolya. Fine. You know the code. Take that sweet girl, Amelia. I've got business. What business is that? My business. Nikola. Why, Kolya? Why you never have time for your wife? Isn't this your home? Hi, do you know where this boy Lev and his mom live? Why? Well, they won a contest, but there's no building number in our database. Is their last name also not in your database? Stop! Where are you going? Stop! Stop, I tell you! Get your hands off, my son! Lova, you scared me so much. Why aren't you at school? Where have you been? He blackmailed me, and it's as if you don't know about this. What are you talking about? Lova. Shame on you for sending a sick kid on a job. What does that even mean? Who are you? Lova, let's go home. Hello, miss. I'll take the baguette in about 15 minutes. What's wrong? Is he a drama club attendee? 
Лева, call an ambulance. I don't have a phone. Hello, emergency. There is a sick kid. He is unconscious. Абсолютно... Building 8. Building 8. What do you mean in an hour? What if he dies? He won't make it before the ambulance arrives. He has a bad heart. Do you have a car? Take us to the nearest hospital. I'll show you where to go. Please help. Save my son. God. Vadim Nikolaevich, I am a grateful man. Ask whatever you want. I'll do what I can. I need a permit to construct a new wing. We have a waiting list six months ahead. We want to open a children's department. No problem. I'll ask around what's what and call you. Say hi to your father. How is he? Tell me. He's fine. He's getting used to mom being back from Italy. She got bored. I see. So no one's gonna get bored here now, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you like this model? Looks a bit large. Honey, if asked you to bring me size 48, you should have brought me size 48. 52? I'm so sorry. Emilia, do I look like size 52? Sofia Pavlovna, of course not. Size 44 at most. I found a few options for you. I think this cardigan would match your eyes perfectly. And this one is for every day. What do you say? Yeah, I always wanted a daughter, but had a son who doesn't care about me. I think he might have forgotten that color my eyes are. Sofia Pavlovna, tell me about your Vadim. Why is he so closed? Yes, closed. That's true. He changed so much after that tragedy. I still can talk about it. Sofia Pavlovna, I'm sorry I didn't want to upset you. How about we try on your garments? <laughs> yes. It's 48. You are an angel. Галя Станислав and his girlfriend will come for dinner today. He is on diet. Make something healthy. Fish and vegetables. The dinner must be ready by one. Go. I don't know. He has a career in the best football clubs in the world. He could make himself such a couple. We're not gonna kill this Zhenya, right? No need. We are civilized people. There are other methods. Irene Lvovna, Alina Kazitska is here to see you. Oh, Alinochka. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. What brings you here so early? I was just passing by. Is Stanislav here by any chance? No. Why? Nothing. I better go. No, wait a minute. Did you agree to meet? Did you talk on the phone? No. Actually, I came to have a coffee with you. Galia, don't just stand here. Bring the girl some coffee. No sugar? Yes. Galia, no sugar. And a cup for me. Also, could you recommend me some nice beauty salon? A beauty salon? 
Of course I could. By the way, Stanislav asked about you today. Yeah. Where did you go? How were you doing? You know, I think this relationship with Jenya is such a drag for him. Really. So don't disappear. Act. I'm gonna text you the address and I'll call the cosmetologist and the hairdresser myself, all right? Sir, help us, please. We need to get the kid out of the car. Hello, miss. I'm stuck in traffic. I'll be in about 10 minutes to get the baguette. Thank you. Nurse, my son's unconscious. The doctor will be here soon. What do you mean soon? The boy has heart problems. Call the doctor now. What did Lova want from you? He said he was my son. What? Do I have to get the doctor myself? I'll stay with you until the doctor comes. Do you have a business card? Yes. I'll take it from here. You go. The bouquet awaits you. I'll call you later. Okay. Lovochka. Mom, have you seen my latest hat trick? The people are voting. They say it's the goal of the month. Put the phone away. You can watch it after dinner. By the way, we have fish and vegetables for dinner. Fish? I don't want fish. Can I have chicken pot pie or... You said you didn't care about gala made fish. So, if you please. Gala. Where is your girlfriend, by the way? Punctuality is the politeness of kings, you know. <laughs> Also, what am I saying? What? Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Sorry I'm late. The traffic is terrible. Hello. Here in Lvovna, this is for you. Thank you. Such wonderful flowers. You have an excellent taste. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to lilies. Galia? You have pretty new ring. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't know about the lilies. I transferred you the money for the next month. I intend to invest your prize money in stocks. Any wishes? You could invest in pharmaceutic or IT startups. Their return rate is high there right now. Oh, you know your finance? Zhenya, thank you for your opinion. I'm sure Stanislav appreciates it. So, uh, what do you think? Dad, you decide. We have enough money for now. We'll be able to swim in it soon. Did you watch the latest Chelsea game? Of course. No, we didn't have the pleasure. There was a scout I saw in our match yesterday. He was watching me the whole game. They'll offer me a contract. Maybe I'll go to Chelsea. God, you look so much like your granddad. His eyes also lit up when he talked about football. I wish he could see you right now. Is that what you wanted to tell us today? Not really. Mom, where's Grandma's medallion? What do you mean? It is where it's supposed to be in the office safe. Why? Then let's go. You still haven't changed the coat? For once? You don't talk about stuff like this out loud. Here? What do you need it for? Do you remember what Grandma said? I should give it to my fiancé. Well, I'm giving it. We're getting married. 
You don't mind, do you? Why would she mind? This is my medallion. I... We are very happy for you. Thanks, Dad. Congratulations. Okay, I'm late. I'm off to the club. You guys discuss what's what. Genia has my schedule until the end of the year. But what about the dinner? I'll eat at home. Okay, I gotta go. I'll walk you out. All right. Irene Lvovna, I think someone really wants to ruin everything for me and Stanislav. What makes you say that? Nothing much, just a typical woman's violence. Do you know who that might be? I don't know. Stanislav has many fans. You can't remember all of them. Maybe it's someone especially persistent. An ex-girlfriend? You know, now that you say that, I immediately thought of Alina Kozitska. Alina? We were good friends with her parents, and her grandfather was a famous football coach. Just like my father. That's all Stanislav has never told me about it. They had a romance. They were even going to get married. She doesn't think that you're the reason for their breakup. What if she does? A woman abandoned is capable of many things. Now I see why she came this morning and... Ask to get her an appointment at the salon. What salon? Lotus. I see. Thank you for the info. I have to go now. See you soon. Goodbye. Good afternoon, miss. I urgently need manicure, pedicure, haircut, styling, massage, cosmetologist, and epilation. I'll be generous with the specialists and you personally. I will go talk to the specialists and I'll see what I can do. Would you like some coffee? No, I don't have time for coffee. Patient Alina, room seven. What is it? Don't you see that there's a treatment taking place? Are you the cosmetologist? I am. My friend has a terrible allergy just because of your treatment. She's all covered in red spots and she's suffocating. That's impossible. It must be some kind of misunderstanding. Well, hello there. Zhenya, what are you doing here? Stay down. Get your hands off me. I'll call for help and you'll be arrested for assault. 
We'll go down together, blackmailer. Why did you send that kid? You want to ruin everything for us. What kid? Don't pretend you don't know. Your boy was late. Stanislav has already proposed to me, and I will marry him. And if you continue bothering us, you'll be sorry next time. I'm telling you, she is crazy. She started saying some nonsense about blackmail, some kid, and I don't know anything about it. God knows she is dangerous. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Iran says that it's not working out between them, and that Stanislav asked about me. Maybe that Zhenya thought that he wanted to come back to me and... flipped? Look, I would talk to him if I were you. You're right. I already know that it was Alina who paid you. What the hell are you talking about? It's not why I came. Lova is dying. What? Mitral stenosis. It's getting worse. He needs a surgery fast. Lova actually is your son. Have you gone mad? There. His birth certificate. His adoption certificate. This is an expert from your medical record. Nine years ago, you gave birth to Lova and immediately gave him away. Two months later, I adopted him. Where did you get these documents? They couldn't issue those to you. I gave a bribe. I wanted to know that you were healthy and that Lova was healthy, and now he's dying. Those are fake. I don't have any kids and I've never had any. Now get out before I call security. Those are real documents, and Lova is your son. If you refuse to save him, everyone will know about it. Who do you live with? Your husband? Boyfriend? He will find out too. Calm down. No need to yell. Sit. Okay. I don't have kids, and I've never had any. But nothing human is alien to me. He could have just come and talked to me. I have connections. I'll try to find out who operates such cases. Maybe I'll help you with some money. But that's all I can do. You got that? Leave the doctor's report and your phone number. Are we having guests? Yes, but they were just leaving. I'll call you and I'll find something out. Is that Stanislav Hotkevich? Really? Goodbye. Bye. New neighbor. Got it. I'm gonna take a shower. Give me two minutes. Okay.
Here's what I have to say. With this diagnosis, the boy should be transferred abroad, urgently. Germany, Israel. How much could it cost? About a hundred thousand euros. And no one does this kind of surgeries here? Only Vadim Nikolaevich Safronov. But it's harder to get into his Safronia than all the clinics in Germany and Israel combined. Tell me, is the boy your family? No, he's my acquaintance son. Well, tell your acquaintance to hurry up. A month or two tops. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank you, Lena. You're welcome. Mom? Vadim, you are not just feeling about or drinking coffee. You are talking to your mother. Everything else can wait. Mom, what did you want to discuss? Vadim, I am having a small family dinner tonight. Your father, me, and... Emilia will be there. You're at it again? I've told you many times that I hate matchmaking. No need to get into my personal life. Okay, whatever. But you didn't listen to me once. And how did that end up? Mom, you should go. Thanks. Hi, I'm here to see Vadim Nikolaevich. Where's his office? Vadim Nikolaevich is busy today. I can make you an appointment for another day. What is this about? It's personal. Lena? Security? Missy can't go in there. Are you kidding me? Lady, let me walk you out. It's Evgenia Alexandrovna to you. I have an appointment. Don't make me use force. So, if that's how it's gonna be. Okay. Okay. Miss, so should I make an appointment or not? What's going on here? Well, soon they will start kicking me out of your clinic like that. Right, Vadim? Uh, what's going on here? Madness. Natalia, pay attention to me, please. Zhenya, what's with the negative wipe? Why do you even need this Playboy Safronov? There are much more promising candidates around. Actually, I'm getting married. <gasps> Let me take a look. We need Safronov because we want to offer him to collaborate with our agency. But we don't know how to approach him. There's hardly any information on the Internet. That's right, because you shouldn't search on the Internet, but right here. Safronov is an opportunist. He operates only on the right and important people. Right now he is expanding his clinic. He has had quite a lot of women, as you may understand. All the rumor has it that he will settle down soon. Someone serious? Emilia Kolobova. She is working his mother, not him. Follows her everywhere. Although you know men falls for Emilia's like her themselves. What do you mean like her? You know, she is all spiritual, light, just like a fairy. So it's models. What else? Also, he likes to shoot. He goes to the shooting range. The one in the park, what it calls scope or something. He practices there every morning. Likes to shoot, you say? Yep.
It's the first time I see a girl shoot like that. Vadim, were you firing at someone in particular? Yes, my boss. Why is that? She is a spinster. In vibes, beautiful girls. Oh. Where did you learn to shoot like that? First love. She shot counts. I had to do it, too. I've always liked women who know how to handle firearms. Is that so? How about six o'clock? Same place. All right. Will you make it in these high heels? They feel like slippers. Wonderful.